could have thought that Newton's laws of motion could be applied in daily life, in real life, in productivity. Hey guys, welcome to this episode of ABCs of Life, the channel where we learn to take good care of ourselves and to be our best versions. In today's episode, we are going to see how we can apply Newton's laws of motion to boost our productivity to achieve our goals. Let's glide in. Newton's first law states that an object either remains at rest or continues to move at constant velocity unless acted upon by an external force. In other words, an object in motion stays in motion and an object at rest stays at rest. As an individual, you have plans, you have goals that you want to start working on. If you haven't started working on your goal, it will remain in that state, irrespective of how great that goal is, the wonderful ideas you have for that goal, or how impactful that goal will be to your overall life. This law is based on psychology of starting. To achieve this promising goal, the first and most important thing to do is to get it started. This removes the mental block that makes you keep on procrastinating. Procrastination is a behavior pattern that all of us embody. What makes the difference is that most successful people work towards overcoming it. Newton's first law implies that procrastination leads to more procrastination. There is no way you'll achieve anything by doing nothing. A goal at rest stays at rest until you do something about it. For instance, let's say that you have this report or essay that is due next Friday. You are here on a Saturday thinking about it, debating about it in your mind on whether to start it today. But at the end of it, you decide that you'll start it on Monday because it is very complicated. On Monday morning, the morning class or meeting becomes very exhaustive. Your mind is tired. You can't work on that complicated report. So you continuously push it forward towards the deadline. Then the day before, now you have to complete this task. So you work on it, you rush over it, then you end up submitting something that is substandard just because you kept on procrastinating. It takes a lot of discipline to beat procrastination. You need to get yourself outside there. Use your resources, get setbacks, pick up yourself and learn from your mistakes, your failures and successes. You may lack motivation or desire to work on a project because of how big or how difficult it looks. But the key is finding that starting point. Find that tiniest thing that can get you started, that can keep you in motion. Keep in mind that you don't have to finish it. The thing is, once you get started, you'll finish that task in time. Why so? Starting small helps you to build a momentum to face bigger challenges and to get to those difficult stages. An object in motion stays in motion. You'll keep moving, face the difficulties as you soldier on. You see, the moment you start working on your goal, you'll receive those small victories and you'll feel good about them. This will keep you going and that's how you build the momentum. Motivation comes when you motivate yourself. Newton's second law. The greater the mass of an object, the more force it will require to accelerate it. Force is equal to mass times acceleration. To push a full tank, you'll require more force than what is required to push an empty tank. Your choice of goals and the energy you put on them have a bigger impact on your productivity. Your big goals such as growing a business, building a successful career, building a healthy relationship, require both magnitude and direction. How hard you work on them and how much force you apply on them. Where you place your force is just as important as how hard you work. That's why you need a blueprint. You need a strategy. You need a plan to show you the direction in which you're going with your goal. That is very important. Don't spend most of your energy and resources doing manual jobs, avoiding the real task. You'll end up achieving nothing. Stop dodging the difficult tasks. Most of us do. And that is what makes some people more successful than others because they do the difficult things that are avoided by others. There's always a difference between just working and working towards a certain direction. It's like when you're walking in the park, you move from one place to another. 
and when you are on a treadmill you are in a static position it doesn't get you anywhere a person walking in the park gets somewhere that's why you need a clear blueprint to show you the direction in which you're going so that you don't waste your resources and energy going nowhere let's get to newton's third law it states that for every action there is an opposite and equal reaction just like big goals which require bigger actions and brings about bigger impacts and vice versa if you're working on a small goal it will require less effort and it will bring small impacts this law implies that there are positive forces and negative forces productive forces and unproductive forces positive forces are those forces that makes you to perform a task in less time while negative forces are those forces that drains your energy, the ones that brings you backward. The good thing about this goal is that the ball is in your court. You have a choice to pick on the positive forces or the negative forces. Positive forces are like hard work, discipline, confidence, patience, yeah. And the negative forces are like procrastination, fear, quitting, self-destruction, yeah. Reducing these negative forces makes your productivity to glide naturally into the positive side. The moment you eliminate these negative forces, you'll find yourself moving forward. It is like detaching yourself from a hook that was holding you back. You can start eliminating these negative forces by learning to say no to things or people that drains your energy. That friend who feels that you are incapable of starting your own business. Those series that glues you to your screen for hours and hours. That colleague that always brings you the newest gossip in the office that wastes your time. Just say no when it is the right thing to do. Eliminate things that distract you. These forces are always there. They are even there for those people who are very productive and very successful. But they learn to avoid these distractions or to limit them. We also have to admit that as we are working on our goals, there are those turns, twists, potholes that comes about. It is important not to let them take over your life. Problems are always there, but how you choose to deal with them is what defines you. Even productive people, successful people undergo these problems. They also have fear, worries, doubts, but they don't let that stop them. The thing is, the negative forces are as many as the positive forces. Nurturing the positive forces can also help you to overcome the negative forces. This braces you to face the challenges that comes your way because there's no way you'll move forward when you have those negative forces that are blocking you. So we've reached the end of this video. Here's the recap. The first law states that an object in motion stays in motion and an object at rest stays at rest. Don't let your goal stay on paper or as an idea. Start working on it. This will make you gain momentum through the small wins. At the same time, you'll be learning from your setbacks, failures, and successes. The second law states that the bigger your goal is, the more the energy required to achieve it. Choosing tough goals is what separates you from an average person. So don't dodge tough tasks because that is what most people do. Successful people always do the tough tasks that are avoided by most people. It is never a smooth path. Strengthening your positive forces such as hard work, discipline, confidence, persistence makes you overcome the negative forces. That's the end of this video. Thank you so much for being here with me, for listening to me. I hope you've learned something. I hope there's one or two things that you can pick from this video to help you in your productivity. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe, like, share to grow this channel so that we can develop together to be our best versions and to take good care of ourselves. Thank you. Bye.